So let's continue on and this is part 10 of the Hoover Crosshair label in Chart.js. Right now what we're going to fix is the label itself here as you can see here if I hover over this area you can see the numbers change well it should not change because we're still on the same date. So we're going to scroll down and go to search for the date area that is within the after date data sets draw. We're going to scroll here. You see here the text. All right. This is the one and specifically this part here. So the real issue here is if we go up is basically in this date here, which is the nearest X date two, and the nearest X date is based on the Hoover value. And uh, this here we want to avoid. What I want to do is instead of this is to get the other value that we have used already many times. Let me just show you. We're going to say console log and we're going to say here the uh, what is the right term for this? Let me double check. That's this one here, the Hoover index. Basically what we could do and I just realized that we should do this earlier, but I didn't notice it. The Hoover index, we could grab the item. So we get here the index number as you can see here. But what I want to do here is go into the data object because we are allowed to do that. We are having that already set here. So we're going to say data dot data sets index zero dot data get the Hoover index. And then we can say here dot uh, X. And if I do this refresh, we will get already the date. And I guess you can just extract that and insert this nicely in here. So to do that, we can copy all of this and probably say instead of here the nearest date, I think we can even do it like this. Uh, nearest date two, or we just grab this and put it straight away in. Let's see what's the difference if I do it like that. Do we have the difference? Uh, you can see here, it works nicely already. We could, could we remove this? Probably could even clean out a lot of this calculations here. If you want to change it, you could clean it out as well. You can put it straight away in here, in this item here, but I'll just leave it as it is because this works quite nice. Beautiful. All right. So I'm going to remove the console log and we are good to go. Save refresh. There we are. Eventually the only thing here would be this nearby item. And I will have to research on this one here where we can maybe trigger it based on the hoovering index of the scale. But that is another video.